Hi everyone, a very short video to show you one interesting feature, not very known about RStudio, but, but I think you're going to love it. So let's unload the Titanic dataset again from this direction. I'm going to use this naomit function. So here we go. So I'm going to show you again that with the with function we can do a lot of things. Okay, in inside one of these calls. So imagine that we want to create a table of survived versus sex and we also want to let's say plot age versus survive survive and the last thing that I want to do is calculate the um, let's say the mean and standard deviation of age okay so remember that we can plug this into a width function and here we go. So here we have the plot, here we have the mean and the standard deviation and I don't see the table, maybe I should put here. I should type here print. Okay, there we go. So if you don't put print, the only thing that you're going to see in the output is the last command, okay? Okay, but the topic of this video is not with the, fun the width function, that you have another video for that. The topic of the video is the, the snippet function. So let's go to Tools, Global Options, Code, and click here on Edit Snippet. So snippets are a kind of alias of, of another function. For, for instance, every time I type lib, RStudio is going to tell me that if I want to type library and write something here in the middle. So let me show you how to create a snippet. We're going to call this with. Actually, we could use simply something like that. So instead of having the command, you can write, write whatever you want. Okay, but I'm going to use with. And every time I type with, I want the snippet to type a real with here. And then I'm going to call the first argument. And I'm going to give a hint to the user. So the frame. Now I'm going to use the curly brackets. And here I'm going to use the second argument your own code and then don't forget about the semicolon okay and this is a snippet so let's save it click here on apply and then here is the magic so any type I type with I used to have this list of things like the function and different uh, inv different commands that start with with but now here I, you can see with and a snippet so I, if I click here then automatically I'm going to be there so data frame I'm going to use Titanic. I forget about the comma, so I have to correct that later. So comma, and then when I type the tab function, I'm going to jump into here. And here I'm going to say, okay, same as above. Print table, in this case, sex uh, class, and then let's say plot age as factor mm, sex. And here we go. Okay, so this part is the same as before. The interesting thing about a snippet is that we can actually avoid all some of the typing there. And clicking on tab, we're going to jump from one argument to the other. So let me show you another example. Code snippets. I'm going to correct this one. Okay, and let's add a new one. A snippet. Mm, I don't know who. So let's say my function function let's say that we want to do to, to create pretty quickly functions of two arguments so this is going to be my first argument second argument and then i'm going to do stuff here okay so this is going to be my third argument and finally after writing all the stuff i want to return another stuff okay so here we go Let's save this, and again, if we type foo to, then you can see the snippet. If I click here, now I can jump from one argument to the other. So let me show you the keys. So x, tab, y, tab, mm, do some stuff, tab, return some stuff. So as you can see, Using the tab function, you can jump from one of the arguments of the snippet to the other. But I think it's, as you can see here, uh, let me show you again. So 
remove this. So when I type with and I close the snippet, remember that I have this kind of hint, this clue of what I have to type there. But when I use the full the snippet, the full snippet, then as you can see, I have to guess what comes here. So my suggestion is that you go back, code snippet, and put some hints. So uh, let's say like first argument colon sorry this is a colon second argument please fill your commands what you want to return and there we go so let's type now foo click on snippet and as you can see here first argument let's call it x tab y tab mm, print x plus y and then return mm, x divided by y okay so this is my function and then let's call it my function three two or three four and here we go uh, sorry this i uh, use capital letters here and here we go so as you can see here you can create your own snippets and every time you do something repetitive or something that you cannot remember precisely how to do that and this is going to happen to us when we use the library caret that is a, a library for machine learning there are some comments that are hard to to remember